Hi there guys, this is just a quick video looking at the ICA explosive phone. It's one of the items you can unlock in Hitman. Uh, you get it at Mastery 10 on Club 27, which is the Bangkok level at the Him and Pan Hotel. It does class as an explosive device, so unlike the fire extinguisher, unlike the propane tank, you're not going to get an accident kill. You can still get silent assassin. But you're going to want to have to either hide the bodies, pacify any NPCs, or just reach the exit before anyone finds the bodies. So you can use it on story mode. I primarily use it on contracts mode. We have a couple of clips here where I show some of the targets getting killed by it. But uh, we're going to focus on contracts mode. I'm going to show you different ways that you can use the phone other than using it just as an explosive device. In story mode, you often find that your targets will have guards or they'll call for guards to remove something like the phone or any kind of weapons that they come across as they're walking around. In order to get the, the targets directly to pick them up, you need to get rid of these guards either by pacifying them uh, or distracting them themselves using coins or making them take other weapons away, leaving the NPC on their own. I would say out of all the NPCs that you can actually manipulate, or the, the targets at least, that Yuki's probably the hardest, only because her guard's very stubborn, and I think basically wherever she is on the map, it, it changes her responses. But you can learn, learn about the maps, learn about the characters, use the opportunities available to do so. So in contracts mode, I pretty much exclusively use the phone as a way to manipulate where the NPCs are on the map. I tend not to use it as an actual explosive device. So in this contract, we've got a person here who in quite a crowded area. Um, and the requirements for this contract in particular were we had to kill him and hide the body. And so as you see just there, I've dropped the, the phone on the side into his line of view and then I've thrown it over the side. And the NPC is actually going to follow the phone down now to the bottom floor. Unlike the coin, the NPCs will follow the phone. And unless you interrupt them by bumping into them and then further distracting them with a coin maybe, they will follow it until they, they find it and pick it up. You can then choose to call the phone and at that point the NPC answers it and then it will blow up. So like the coin, with the phone you can do the drop and throw trick. It's just a way to get NPCs around the map, very short distance really. And very much like the coin, this can be touch and go. I'd say the phone's more reliable, but to be honest it has its own ups and downs. Other NPCs will try and pick it up. And like the coin you'll have instances where an NPC might pick up the phone from a few feet away. Sometimes it can be ridiculous distances. And sometimes they can lose interest. I find this happens less often with the, the phone than it does with the coin. But it's not a perfect way to use it. I would just stick to using the coin if you wanted to use this trick. So I would say probably the most effective use of the phone is by calling it. And again, this can attract NPCs over a number of floors. And this can work in various maps throughout Hitman. It's just about trying it out and seeing what works best. So NPCs will follow the sound of the, the ringtone of the phone. And again, unless they're otherwise distracted by yourself or maybe a panicked NPC hearing an explosion, something like that, they, they will go to the phone. Again, they'll pick it up. And because it's ringing, they'll, they'll answer it automatically and they'll, they'll die. Now just because you use the phone to attract the NPC, just because you use it to, to move them, it doesn't mean that obviously you have to use it to kill them. So for example in this one I've, I've used the phone to attract the NPC, they're going to go to the edge and I'm just going to push them off. So there are likely going to be times where you're going to, once it isolate a particular NPC 
to move them to a particular area or perhaps a room on the map where a particular kill method is available. And to do that, first of all, you have to make sure you attract them somewhere where they can hear the phone and do that initial call just to get them moving. And then you can start to direct them to somewhere where you want them to be. And in order to do this, the phone still needs to be in earshot of the NPC. You need to make sure that there's no closed doors. And so use breaching charges or crowbars to open locked doors. And just make sure that the NPC can hear the phone. And when the NPC passes nearby, they'll change their routes. And they'll just enable you to explore a bit more and choose different methods. Once you realise that this is quite a simple way to move NPCs around, uh -huh. then you can begin to experiment, look at the maps that you like, and have fun just trying to move the NPCs around different levels. You can take them to places that are far out of their route. Some of the NPCs probably wouldn't move otherwise. And you can set up different kill requirements for them. So if you're interested in making your own kind of contracts that have various complications and this is one way to do it and the ICA phone is really just one of many different techniques that you can use on Hitman to your advantage whether that's solving contracts whether that's creating contracts whatever your needs are really there's a variety of ways to do it so I hope this video has been helpful I hope you guys have learned something if there's anything I haven't mentioned in here that you know and feel free to mention it to me um, leave it in the comments I'm always up for learning new things but yeah take it easy guys